Hey everybody, Ron from Campfire Grub, and on this episode, we picked up a scissor lift here to use around the shop. It matches perfectly with a forklift. They look about the uh, same mechanical quality. Uh, seems good to go. Checked it out, seems okay. Uh, there's also a new little shop pet, which is uh, right down there, little bunny rabbit. Travis is actually over there building a proper rabbit hutch for it out of scrap lumber and plywood and pallets that are laying about. So we're gonna go ahead and get that built. Maybe smoke up some ribeyes or chicken or who knows what we feel like pulling out of the freezer today to throw on the smoker and uh, let's see how it all turns out. Here is the new little bunny. It's a little Rex. Um, well, it's actually a, not a mini Rex, but it's a regular Rex. And uh, there she is. Brand new, new little shop pet. We've got this uh, intensive engineering project going on over here. Um, with current lumber prices, it's a bit expensive, so utilizing scrap wood and old pallets that are laying about to build uh, the little shop rabbit, its little hutch. So the uh, roof has just been thrown on the rabbit hutch, not stapled down, scrap metal of course. Uh, every piece of wood on here is just trash wood that we have found laying around. Why buy real wood? Now for the cooking process of today's adventure, we've got three ribeyes that we're gonna go ahead and smoke up. Uh, when I was traveling out in Washington, Oregon, and a few places like that out west, uh, most of your barbecue places all had smoked ribeye. Smoked ribeye to me is pretty freaking good. I love it. Never made one, gonna give it a whirl. Travis is not super optimistic. He thinks it's gonna be disgusting. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and take these, pull them out of the package, cover them up in some Everglades seasoning, get them rolling on the smoker. Also pulled out some chicken wings. Those will go on too because what's a weekend here without some chicken wings? Look at this just luscious looking ribeye. Right there, all seasoned up with that Everglades. Beautiful fat. Nice marbling. It is bone-in, definitely bone-in as a cost saver, and it helps maximize flavor. First order of business, Travis is terrified by the low railing, so we went ahead and raised up the railing. Uh, hopefully that makes it a little bit safer. Have we gotten it stuck already? Seems to be uh, clunking right along here. I mean, look at this raw power as it's just cruising along in the grass. Unstoppable. Appears to be pretty operational. Alright, so now we're going for a ride up here. Seeing how we're doing here. You're half. Uh, this is half high? Yeah, keep going. You're stable. Fuck this. We're riding down. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Going, Ron. Ron. <laughs> I want to see what it is. I mean, these controls are pretty uh, intensive here. Read owner's manual uh, before operating machine. I am a aerial work platform certified for all you people that are like, oh, that's unsafe. You don't know what you're doing. Some crazy class I took. An instructor actually certified me, so uh, I have the card and everything. I drive here. Whoa! As we buy it, fall out of it. I mean, we're just cruising along. Easy to control levers. And it seems to be just propelling us around the yard just fine. And we got stuck. 
Now hopefully the uh, recovery vehicle here will start. Come on, there we go. All right, good, we got the old forklift running. It's got fork pockets on there so we can go ahead and throw the forks on there and lift it up. Can you see it? Yep. Perfect. Certified forklift operator. And we picked the back wheels up. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl from this side. The uh, batteries are actually over here, so there's also four pockets on this side. Hopefully it'll lift it better. Or we'll just slam the forks into the side of the machine. Uh, let's see if it'll lift now. hydraulic fluid out right out of the pool there but we're, we're going well we're propelling <laughs> so it weighs more than 4,500 pounds so lift weighs more than 4,500 pounds hopefully we can get it inside little bouncy a little sketchy. All the day's fun here at the shop. <laughs> Ribeyes have been smoking at around 200-ish degrees. Plop this open. And they're coming along quite spotted. Look at this juicy, squishy, gooey, gooey fat. Right there, smoking away. Getting in those juices right on the ribeyes. Got the ribeyes going inside and eat them up. Next project, do some work on the old Ford. Uh, we've got some flat tires, so we're gonna go ahead and lift it up. With the forklift. Time to go ahead and take the chrome sockets and go ahead and ugga dug them in. And we're right down the road from Sun and Fun, and there are the Blue Angels. Zooming right up over the house. Well, we've had a fairly productive day so far of uh, pretty much doing a whole lot of nothing really all too major. Uh, sun and fun at the Lakeland airports going down, uh, hence the Blue Angels. Both? Okay. So, um, while that's been going down, we threw some tires on the truck, played around with the scissor lift, uh, the forklift, moved some things around, kind of cleaned up the shop a bit. Um, as you can have been telling in the previous videos, the place is a dump. It's really becoming a mess. Worked on that, but it's almost dinner time. So uh, we've never cooked these before at all, chicken wings. Uh, it's new. Um, obviously it's not. I feel like that's all we do here is cook chicken wings. We're gonna make these up for dinner. Not super exciting. If you've got any food suggestions that we can cook and make while we're 
here in the shop doing random stuff, go ahead and drop a comment down below on uh, what you think we should make. Really nice if we had a table. Uh, we do not have a table. We keep on bidding on stainless steel cooking tables, little sinks to create like a cooking area. Because that would make this process super cool, super convenient. Don't have one yet. Hope for the best. If you are local to the Orlando, Lakeland, Tampa, or Plant City area and have a table for sale that's stainless steel or sink or something somewhat restaurant quality for not an arm and a leg, drop a comment, let me know. Sprinkle on some Everglades and then some of our bourbon molasses because we still have some left and they sell it up at the local meat market and it seems to be a pretty good hit here for seasonings. So as you're gonna go? Yeah, that was like 16 feet. That ain't bad. All right, so I was out here trying to uh, fire up the old forklift here to move the propane tank containment system over to this beautiful cleaned up area that we created. Tons of room. And uh, I uh, melted the uh, battery terminal here. This is the uh, second set that we have melted so far. Travis melted one set. Now I've melted another set. Uh, Ford is out of battery terminals because we had to put them in this. Came with a melted one. So we pulled one out. Then the one Travis melted, he threw it in there. We have an old GMC over there, uses screw on, so that won't work. Now Travis is digging around in the shop and hopefully he finds another battery terminal. Here's a view here at the chicken wings and they came out pretty perfect. This is probably the better set of chicken wings that I've made so far. Um, I mean, I do make them every weekend. On to the next stop of the night. I just arrived here at Danielle's where she's got her beautiful little attack puppy. Are you ready to kill me? <laughs> Does it look like it wants to kill me? No, it wants to cuddle. It wants to cuddle? Are you a cuddle puppy? Are you here? I'm going to try to pet you. Hey. Easy. All right, Danielle, you finally got your life together from all your dog cleaning? All no. right, let's go. <laughs> Never will. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, not take my Tacoma to the woods. We're just going to take this raggedy piece of shit forward instead. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. On the next adventure, hopefully she doesn't crash me in this Ford. So, uh... It just flew Where'd it go? Off. It fucking flew off. It flew off. Ron, you're saying things. There's no bird. Well, there was a whiffer wheel right there. I guess no, there it just flew off. Your mental health is weak. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a whiffer wheel, I promise. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> so uh, we pulled off the main trail here in Richloam because, uh, you know, there was vehicles hauling ass uh, coming down the road. So we're like, that seems unsafe. So let's just pull down this random trail. Ron, there's footprints. Um, And then uh, we see footprints, so... Uh, Danielle, what was your response when I let you know about the footprints? That I had already noticed them, and I was slightly concerned. <laughs> but she was hoping I did not notice them. <laughs> so uh, we're going to hope for the best and continue cruising along here. So, uh, think we're going to die today? No. No? Okay. That's good. Oh, there's a water puddle. We probably hit the only mud in Richland. Yeah. Um, it actually hasn't rained in like two months. Oh shoot, I just slammed the camera into the steering wheel. So uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and turn around because these ruts here are massive. Sandy, there's like footprints, probably a setup. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn around and uh, hope for the best. Uh, Danielle, can you explain here what had occurred? So Ron has just about gotten us stuck um, looking for a winch tree and now we're debating on do we go through the alligator infested, yeah there's an alligator right there, <laughs> do we go through this with no four wheel drive or do we turn around? Let's go ahead and assess <laughs> to be determined. We always keep it fun here don't we? Yeah. <laughs> 
break into that calorie block. So um, I did show Danielle my food selection. So we have a whole ass calorie block. So we yeah. should be good to go. So there's actually an alligator out here in the water. If we can find it. There's frogs jumping. It's right there. Oh. It, look, there, there it is to the right. Yeah. See, there it is. Um, it is sand bottom. There's the gator. So, um, there's an alligator. I w there's a beautiful looking winch tree up ahead right there that um, if we did get stuck, we'd have the winch point, which would be fantastic. But then that would also mean I'd have to jump into alligator infested waters. <laughs> <laughs> Tough choices will be made. Tough choices. So we either turn around, go through what we almost got stuck in, or take our chances here Worst case scenario, I've got enough winch line to make it to that good winch tree. I mean, you can jump out and hit sand. I can jump out sand bottom right there. And run the winch line? Yeah. Well, as soon as we hit this water, the alligator's gonna fucking run. I hope it fucking eats one of us. Fuck, I left my shovel at Travis's, so I don't have <laughs> my normal do? shovel. <laughs> you gonna bury me if I die? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, let's walk back here and look at this hole that we almost got stuck in. We found mud. <laughs> oh, Whoop, you're falling. Life alert. <laughs> Help, I've fallen and can't get up. <laughs> All right. Adjust my light here. Was this what we... Yeah, no. Shh, there's coyotes. <laughs> um, this is a drop, okay? We can't back off into that. Hey, so Danielle, turning around is gonna fuck us worse than going straight and hoping for the tree. So no, I think that's what we're gonna do. Straight. We're going straight. Women are always right. No, no, not today. <laughs> Don't put this one on me. <laughs> hey. Women are always <laughs> right, right? No, not based off of your choices. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, more than likely, there's probably gonna be a hole in the bottom of that. Keep it to the right. Keep one tire up there on the. No, car. I wouldn't keep it to the right because that's what everybody's been doing. Hit it, hit it dead on center. I am wearing shorts. I mean, I can wear shorts. I have shorts. I can wear shorts. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Fuck it. Don't lie to yourself. Just hold it. <laughs> okay, that's about Don't. all I'm good for. <laughs> Don't drop it. Well. Okay. All right, we ready? Yeah. All right, we're going for it. Should we inch into it or? No, back. I would hit a steady pace. Back up. Or, oh God, I'm stuck for we even get at it. No, that's deep, Danielle. That's gonna submerge the truck, I think. Let me just look. We're gonna do a peep. No, if you peep, you're gonna get stuck. Oh yeah, it's deep. Fuck, that's deep. You got water in the floorboards. Hey, what if you went to the left? Ron, this is gonna dump off on this truck. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, there's a hole. People been playing in that. What about to the left? <clears throat> Fuck, I'm not doing <laughs> right. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Let's try to turn it around. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, the expert filmmaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder how deep that is. Deep? Fucking sinkhole? All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna park on this hard ground, we're gonna get out, we're gonna walk, and we're gonna see where we can turn around. On to the next bit of seeing where we can turn around. Danielle 20K zoomed it in, so. Filmmaker Danielle. Hard at work, filmmaker. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? Um, this is all hard. Here, don't fall. So, what about? Uh, what about? Danielle, take a peep over here. What no. about? Yeah. No. <laughs> what we do for the YouTube. I wouldn't want to break through on this. It's pretty oh, <laughs> we can turn around a semi truck right here. There's so much space. Well, what's that electric noise? The power line? 
the power line, they spark. Danielle, we're not we're not 16 anymore bumping bumping our 15 inch subwoofers like we can hear noises now. I, I wish we were. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just turn around right here. Tons of real estate. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> <Close up. laughs> <laughs> so little real estate I almost knocked over yeah. poor Danielle. <laughs> Alright. We got this. The little Tacoma that could. <laughs> like, bitch, do not get stopped. We have a winch. Oh look, he's getting stopped. Tires are slicked. Oh yeah. Probably get the fuck out of the way. Oh, okay. Alright, get in the truck, there's a vehicle coming. <laughs> Fucking gas, <laughs> Leroy! <laughs> <laughs> you hit the zoom button. Hopefully it came out okay. Alright, so we're good. We made it. Here's a vehicle coming. 